What's up, everybody? I am Ghostboy Colby. We're back in Elfheim in Final Fantasy. Um, I haven't uploaded in a couple days. <laughs> uh, as I'm sure you've noticed. Get down! I had to yell at my cat, sorry. But, um... And, uh, I put in the description of one of my videos that I would be going to, uh, to a concert. Um... You know, I guess there are other ways to describe what I went to, but... I, I would just put it as concert, and, uh, yeah, that, it was fun. It took a lot of energy, though. <laughs> it, um, I, I kind of had to recover <laughs> for, for, like, a day, and so that's why I didn't do anything yesterday. The day before was the day of the concert, so, uh, yeah. Well... It, it was Saturday night, but it went into Sunday morning, and my cat is being a crackhead, so if I keep getting distracted, distracted, that's why. Um, I'm gonna let y'all know how I'm gonna be uploading videos for the next uh, day or so, and that is gonna involve uh, skipping the next Bioshock episode that would come after this, and that's not... I'm not going to make that episode until after I upload the next Skyrim episode so that the uploading pattern is ha the way it should have been. Uh, because it, it kind of bothers me that... Uh, see, the, the way it would have been af if I had started the whole Bioshock, uh, Skyrim, Bioshock, Final Fantasy thing after episode one of Bioshock, um, the way it would have been is I'm trying to think of the pattern. I mean, it still would have been the same, but instead of me being on whatever episode it is of Bioshock that I'm on now, I would be on the one before it. So basically I need to skip the next episode to make the pattern to, to get it set right. I'm always bad at explaining these things. It's because I just don't... I can't uh, visualize it, I guess. I, I don't know. Anyways. Uh, I guess... I don't know if we were done grinding yet. I don't think we were. If not, we're going to get back to it. Uh, I think we still need... I think I was just trying to get prepared for the... Uh, dungeon? Well, I guess it's gonna be a dungeon. Yeah, I think it'll actually be our first dungeon. Because the Chaos Shrine doesn't really count. Um, I tweaked around with my webcam a little bit because I wanted to turn on this light over here. Because I only would have the one on the far end of my room on. And because of it, there was a big shadow on my face, and I didn't want as much of a shadow on my face when, when I'm recording. So it doesn't make, it doesn't really matter that much. But hopefully the settings I messed with set the colors right so that all the yellow light from these light bulbs isn't just completely drowning my face, if that makes sense. I don't know if it even made any difference. Um, I also need to check and see after I'm done making this video if the audio is the way it should be. Uh, in this corner of the room that I have everything set up in now, my voice has more of an echo. There are more, um, it's more of an acoustic space. I don't know if that'd be the right way to describe it. It's like, the acoustics in my voice are more affected in this space because the walls bouncing back and forth between the walls in this corner. And because of that, you know, I don't really know what there is to do about it in terms of actual audio settings without me just completely moving everything again. And I, that's not really an option. So I guess, uh, I don't know, if, if there's nothing I can do about it, then I guess I'm just going to have to deal with it. Ah, oh, ha, ha. Um, give me a second. Oh, there's a fast forward button. Hey, 
Okay, so I found the fast forward button. <laughs> oh no. Okay, that's gonna be a lot of editing I'm gonna have to do. Uh, <laughs> I'm dreading that. But what it means now is that we can do this. And it gives me more time to, uh... Well, I don't know. I guess it technically actually gives me less time to talk. Dear God, you can see how Duncan is just getting assaulted. Yeah, they like to hone in on one single enemy, and it's mostly based on what position they're in in the party and what their health is at. And since he's first in line and his health was the lowest, he was basically the prime uh, target. Although he... Although Kellen was getting a bit of a beating too. But, uh... Yeah, no, uh... You guys aren't gonna see all of what happened, but basically I just... I got tired of trying to figure out which one the goddamn button was. And so I just started hitting every key. And it, uh... I think I'm actually gonna turn fast forward off now. But yeah, I didn't know it was as simple as just hitting the space bar. <laughs> uh, of course it was. But I don't remember... Are these the ones that are... These are not the ones that are resistant to physical attacks. The gray ooze is not resistant to phys physical attacks. The green slime, or whatever it's called, is. So use magic on the green ones, not on the gray ones. Not sure if you can use it on the gray ones or not, but... Uh... I don't know. Just make sure you use it on the green ones. So, uh, what I was saying in the part that I cut out is that I'm playing this on an emulator. And, uh, the reason I said it was because the emulator's menu popped up. So, uh... I'm not going to say exactly which emulator it is, because I'm pretty sure if I edit it the way I think I'm going to, you won't even have to see the uh, menu that popped up. But all I'm going to leave it at is that I'm playing this on an emulator, and that's how I'm able to use a controller while I'm playing it. I'm not going to say where I got the ROM from either, uh, because legally I, d I don't know, you know, I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> Like, I'm, I'm just starting out as a YouTuber, and I don't want to get kicked before I even get going, you know what I mean? Like, there's kicking somebody while there's down, and then there's kicking somebody before they can even get a start. And I don't even, you know, I kind of have a start, but that's about it. And I don't, I don't want to get kicked down before I can even take off. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm not going to say, you know, it's... I will say that it is pretty easy stuff to find if you know what you're Google searching for. A uh, few bright keywords and just knowing what websites are safe and what websites aren't. Um, it's, it's pretty easy to find. If you're even interested. Um, and you know, they, I believe there's even a mobile version of the specific em emulator that I'm using. I don't know how good it is. I don't think I've used it. I think I tried to download it once, but I didn't have enough space on my phone or something. But, oh no. This, oh no. We got our healer and our tank paralyzed. Wonderful. Oh no. Okay. Um... This is not good. I'm gonna have to think about this one for a second. I think I'm not gonna stop this episode until we make it out of here. So, my main priority is getting these fucking crawlers taken care of. Because they're the ones paralyzing. Ugh. Somebody's gonna die. <laughs> I'm pretty sure somebody is gonna die. I'll use a potion. 
on Duncan. Because he's... Oh, god damn it. I guess I'm not using the potion on fucking anybody, huh? I'm sorry. I hate when this shit happens. It's really rage-inducing. Uh, I don't... There's nothing I can do if they're paralyzed. I just have to wait for them to stop being paralyzed. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna use Cure. No, I can't. Uh, Dia then. Get rid of the fucking skeletons. Okay. Sorry for all the F-bombs. I'm trying to keep it together, but these kinds of battles are really frustrating. There. Okay. So now we can limit the amount of sheer damage everybody's taking. Dear lord. And I need to cure... Oh god, son of a bitch! I'm sorry. Uh... See, I hate when that shit happens. And it sucks because, like, we didn't even get a level up from that. So really... It, it kind of... I don't want to say it wasted our time because it did give us experience, but God, you you wish you would have gotten more out of it, you know? Or I wish I would have gotten more out of it. It's just certain parts of this game are so frustrating and it just seems so needless. And it's like, I've heard that the original version, you know, the original NES version of the game was even worse, or well, not worse, but like more frustrating. And I, I hear this strange argument that you're not a real fan unless you play the originals, but it's like, that's just, that's just, uh, you know, that there's no actual basis with that. People just say it because of their nostalgia and that you can be nostalgic. You have every right to be nostalgic. But what you don't have the right to do is claim that somebody's not a real fan just because they don't like the older incarnations of the game. Or they don't prefer those earlier incarnations. Which version they play doesn't matter. The fact that they're playing any of the games at all shows that they are a fan. They can be picky about which ones they like and which ones they don't. They have that right. You don't have the right to make them feel like they don't belong in the fan base because of it. So just, I guess my point is just don't be that asshole. Let people play whatever games from a series that they want. There is no mandatory game that every fan has to play. And that doesn't just go for the Final Fantasy series, but that goes for all games. People can play whatever kinds of games they want. They don't have to like the stuff that you like. You know, would, would you like it if they did? Sure. You can't force it on them. That's called fascism. Even if it's not done through physical action, you know, still trying to make everyone think the same way you do is fascism. I don't know why I started getting on that rant. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's true. I stand by it. I just don't know why I started saying it. <laughs> uh, I am getting tired of these damn monsters, though, but I guess... <laughs> I guess, yeah, I don't think we're even halfway through this dungeon, so me saying that is just kind of needless whining, because we're going to be seeing a lot more of these. I don't, you know, I don't think we're even in the thick of it yet. And I went back into that one room because I didn't realize that I had already checked it. That one... I'm getting tired of these slimes. I'm just gonna start running from these. They take way too long to kill. I think some of these, uh... Chests... Are set up in a way where if you get something out of one of them... You automatically can't get whatever is in the other ones. And I don't... I don't know what all is in each and every... Chest. So basically if I see a room with an open empty chest... I'm just gonna say, okay, and move on. I don't care what was in it, or if I even got to get whatever was in it or not. I'm just gonna accept the fact that I don't have to check. 
and go about my business. I should probably be drinking water while I'm doing these, but <laughs> a lot of my close personal friends know that I'm I just don't like water. <laughs> I will drink it. I absolutely have to in certain situations, but if I'm thirsty, my first instinct is definitely not to go, hey, I want water. It can be satisfying, and yes, our bodies do need it, but it is absolutely not my first choice of drink, and I don't think I should be shamed for that, okay? If you like water, that's cool. It's not what I prefer to drink if I'm thirsty. Get off my back, is all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I acknowledge that I need it to survive. That does not mean that I have to like it. If I have a choice, I'd much rather have a soda. I'm not gonna show, show the name because I don't know if I legally can. <laughs> can. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm good. I swear. Uh, <laughs> I like puns. Okay, pun puns are one of my weaknesses. I'm very thankful for that phoenix down because it's basically just a revive. But. I like puns, and I didn't realize that I made that pun until after I said it. And then I laughed, and I was trying not to, and the fact that I was trying not to, but I laughed anyways is what made me laugh even more. So, I am sorry for that. <laughs> I'll try. I And I mean, I'll try to, uh limit those outbursts I but I thought it was funny okay I just I thought it was funny but yeah I don't I don't know what all the legal like restrictions are on showing brand names of stuff if it's not like a, a paid product placement or whatever I don't know how that stuff works so I'm just trying to be on the safe side and uh, not show the names if I don't have to. <laughs> I probably already accidentally showed it, so it might not even be worth worrying about, but... And there might not even be any, like, punishment for, for it. I have no idea. That's why I'm trying to just stay on the safe side. And uh, I'm, a, I'm a little bit worn out. All that laughing. It uh, kind of did a number on me. I don't know how long this episode's been going, but I really, I don't want to stop the episode until we get the thing that we came here to get. So. I am out of MP on my Red Mage, though. And, you know, there's not really any way we can restore MP without just leaving the dungeon. So, it's, it's looking like we're not going to be able to go through this in one go. Like, throughout the entire... Oh, no. Uh, throughout the entire dungeon. See, this would be a lot easier if I still had fire, but I do have Dia, so hopefully that should take care of most of the skeletons. If not, all of them. But my, my sort of policy when it comes to grinding in these games is that I like to be at a level where I can face any of the overworld enemies without too much trouble. Because if I'm just going from point A to point B, I don't see any need in struggling in, in absolutely every single battle. And I wish they'd fucking leave Duncan alone, I'm sorry. See, they just fucking gang up on whoever has the lowest health, and it's absolutely frustrating. 
Like, it makes sense, because if this were real life, then yeah, I guess they'd probably go after the weakest one. Mystic key, that means we can't get in there. Oh my god, more. See, sometimes it's where you can't even take two steps, or even one step, without just coming across more and more monsters. Excuse me. Uh, okay, that one needs the Mystic Key, too. See, I'm just trying to get from point A to point B, dude. Is it really... is this necessary? Um... Okay, I guess I must have already checked that one. Crap. I'm wasting time. Oh my god! Running. I'm gonna start running from a lot of these. Might need to slow down that fast forward speed just a little bit. And I definitely need to heal Anne. I didn't realize that she was that low on health. But yeah, I like to be at a level after grinding to where uh, if I come across these enemies, I don't have to fear them. Because RPGs are notorious for, you know, if you're unprepared even in the slightest, you can just get wiped out and there's not really anything you can do about it but go back to your save point. Speaking of which, just in case, I'm gonna save, uh, here. I don't, I don't even know, I don't know how far into the dungeon we are. I don't think we're, f I don't think we've been going quite long enough for me to stop. But maybe we have. Uh, it actually does feel like it's been a while, but I don't know how much of that is just because I was spending time going through trying to figure out what the fast forward button is on this thing. Like I don't know exactly how much is going to get cut out. I guess that's for me to figure out, isn't it? By the way, I'm not specific about sodas. I mean, I, I kinda am, but not that much. Like, I don't, I don't even know if I necessarily have a favorite soda. Basically, I'll drink anything as long as it's not diet or root beer. I do not like root beer. Never have, never will. I'm pretty sure I missed the thing we're looking for. I'm not sure. Uh, cause I'm, I'm pretty sure it's in one of these rooms. I'm just running cause I know what I'm looking for. It's- I think it's supposed to be the crown? God damn it! They're gonna fucking knock him out. Ah. I'm just trying to get from point A to point B, and I don't think I should have to worry about my characters dying in the process. I mean, and that's not me bitching at the game design again. <laughs> don't, don't misunderstand me. What I'm bitching about is, well, I guess I kinda am bitching about the game design. It's just the encounter rate. Like, I understand we're in a dungeon, there's gonna be a lot of monsters, but let me walk from point A to point B. I know where I'm going. Like, there should at least be some kind of item, like in Pokemon, how they have the repels. There should at least be something like that. I just, I want something like that, so that I don't have to worry about encounters every fucking two steps. That's an exaggeration, but it gets my point across. Just, ugh. I want to get where I'm going. And I don't want to have to face a pack of werewolves or a bunch of skeletons or some some ooze and slime monsters and worry about my characters dying. 
Oh, there it is. Oh, no. Pisca demons. These guys, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's how I pronounce it. Pis er, yeah, Pisca demons. Um, these guys are kind of annoying because they're pretty strong. And you're about to see how strong. Uh, I don't know exactly who I should be curing. Let's, just because I'm assuming they're gonna go after Duncan, let's raise his defense, or his evasion. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Motherfucker, I didn't think they were that strong. That's ridiculous. Okay, Phoenix down. You are getting through this, Duncan. I don't care. All right, you are getting through this. Ah! This is ridiculous. That's ridiculous. At this level, at this stage of the game, we should not be facing enemies that can one-shot us. I don't care what game it is. I don't care if it's Final Fantasy. I don't care. Regardless of the game, we should not be able to face enemies that can just one-shot us. I don't care if it's an RPG. That's ridiculous. Rant over. <laughs> That's... See, both... I got two characters dead. Nothing I can do about it. No more Phoenix... Or I have one Phoenix down. Oh, dear sweet Jesus. Alright. Um... I guess... I think at this stage of the game, Kellen's actually doing more damage than Duncan, so I'll, I'll bring him back, and then, uh, use one, my, my last potion on him, and then I'll just heal everybody back. I guess I should have healed before, uh, even risking taking on the Pisca Demons, but I don't really care because we, we got what we came here for. And now I'm gonna check this chest. You gotta call it cottage. It's basically, I think it's like an upgraded version of a tent. I'm surprised I didn't check any of these rooms down here. I say down here, I mean just more like along this column. But uh, yeah, if you could tell that battle did not make me happy. I knew they were gonna be strong, but to do to one hit, to one hit somebody who's basically at like, a third of their health. That's ridiculous, considering his health is 217. He was not at like five <laughs> HP. And it what pisses me off even more is he was specifically the one I was going after to heal and to raise his evasion and everything. I was like preparing for them to hit him. I knew they were gonna target him and yet he died anyway. That's what frustrates me. It's like they knew. I realize it's just a game and it can't read my mind, but that's really, that's frustrating. Although what it shows is that it's just really predictable AI. And I guess that is kind of the root of my frustration. It would make it, you know, much more believable and, you know, I think more enjoyable if it was more spontaneous AI that just, you know, acted a bit, a bit more randomly and not quite so predictably. Like I said, I already made the point that I understand they're most likely gonna go after the weakest one. I get that. Don't make them go after them every time. Cause that's just land. There's no, there's no sense of, like, uh, I don't, I don't know how to put it. There's no, it just doesn't feel as, um, it's hard to use words like real and st like stuff like that to describe these kinds of games because at the end of the day it is a game it's never gonna be real but like that doesn't mean the enemies can't at least feel like they have some semblance of actual thought process going on considering they are AI 
They are code that's meant to represent a living thing. And as such, they should do a good job in representing that living thing. They should be believable. And uh, I just used the tent. As you can see, it's uh, restored our HP and MP. Um, I'm gonna go back to Alfheim, and I'm gonna end the episode there. I don't necessarily know how long this has been going, but I don't think it should be too long. Famous last words, but sorry, I've kind of lost my cool throughout this episode. It's just certain things in this game really set me off very easily. And a lot of it is because I think I'm prepared and yet I'm not. Like, that's just... And there's only so much I can do about it without just spending hours grinding, which I don't want to do, because I don't want to do a lot of stuff off-camera. I don't really want to do anything off-camera. But it's starting to look like I'm not really going to have a choice. I don't know. It Again, it's up to y'all. I still haven't even heard really any word on whether or not y'all care if I cut out the grinding or not. I would prefer to leave it in, but y'all, you guys are the ones watching. I'm trying to stop myself from saying y'all because I know a lot of people don't don't like the word. They associate it with, you know, backwards country hicks. <laughs> and you know, trust me, I I get it because I live. <laughs> I live with those, or not with those kinds of people, but near those kinds of people. So, I understand, like, how annoying <laughs> the culture and the, like, accents and everything can be. Because I have to live around it on a daily basis. I kind of taught myself out of my accent, but most people have not. And most people I don't think even plan to. That's fine. I would just prefer not to talk like that. But I do find y'all to be a very convenient word to use. It's just like any other contraction. You know, you've got can't, don't, won't, shouldn't. Uh, I guess if we want to get uh, into ye old speak, we could use shan't, which is a contraction of shall not. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's just like any other contraction. And so, you know, it's all about the accent used. Because, I mean, it's used in rap a lot. And it's used, like, it's not just country people that use the word. So get that out of your head. Um, but anyways... Before I get rambling on to another tangent or whatever the hell, I'm just going to stop the episode here. Hopefully, cutting out the sections that I need to won't be too much hassle. Um, but yeah, in the next episode, we should be able to get to the Elf King and give him the crown uh, and see what happens. I know what happens, but you guys don't, so when I say we, I'm mostly referring to you. Um, hopefully, the webcam is good, all the color balancing and whatever, the audio is good, hopefully I didn't clip the damn mic or something, I probably did, but I guess we'll see, hopefully I get it all edited right, but anyways, I guess that's all kind of for me to worry about and not you. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make another video tonight. I might try to, but my voice is getting a little hoarse, so this might be the only one I do today. Um, I believe I'm, I'm going to be home all day tomorrow, so if I am, then I'll, I'll do at least one more tomorrow. I would say at least a couple, but every time I make promises like that, they end up not getting fulfilled, so I'm trying to keep from over-promising and under-delivering. Instead, I'd like to try and under-promise and over-deliver. That way you guys are pleasantly su surprised and not let down. 
But uh, yeah, I don't I don't really have anything else to say. Um, Besides, uh, till the next video. Peace.